introduce myself. I am Dr. Natarajan. I am in the different field. I am in veterinary science. I am specialized in generally in animal nutrition and more specialized in poultry nutrition. And uh, all my 30, 32 years of experience as a professor in the Veterinary College and Research Institute has been focused on developing the poultry nutrition through better feeding. So I am just well versed with uh, the quality of uh, materials that are fed to poultry, especially the broiler that we are uh, going to talk about. Uh, see, the egg production. In this slide, I have given India is ranked third, but actually, two months back, India has moved to second spot with uh, 129 billion eggs. 129 billion eggs surpassing US and only ahead of us is only China and uh, ICMR has recommended one egg a day and we are still short of that we are consuming only 93 eggs a year we should be consuming 365 eggs a year and uh, you can see from this table the chicken we are uh, having in Namakkal, it's very famous for poultry. The chicken is producing at the right uh, presently 330 in a year. So imagine how it has genetically been improved. And uh, still, my prediction is by 2050, it must be able to produce 365. The obstetrics and gynecologists will agree with me. The reason behind that is the follicles that a hen will produce in one year will be 2000. So man has captured 330 today. It has come from 270 in the 70s. In about 30, 35, 40 years, we have now reached 330. And some of the farmers have even touched 342. So potential is there. So such is the potential of hen which can produce 365 in about 30 years of time from now, which means an egg a day by hen. So that is the capacity. And uh, broiler is also very similar in that aspect, but it has been a phenomenal growth for the broiler rather than the hen. See, earlier, it was only 1.4 crores chicks per week that has been placed now. But see, per capita consumption has increased to 6 kgs per person. Whereas the per capita consumption is around 40 to 45 kgs. So still, the broiler has the potential to grow up to 5 times, which is now needed. You see, the broiler production as well as the hen production has been zero in the year 2000, I mean, uh, 1970. Now you can see, presently broilers are placed at 4,800 millions. Some of the data shows that the reason, recent unconfirmed data put it as 6,000 million. So such is the vast production of broiler in India which makes it fourth in the world in the rank. So some of the myths I would like to clear. Before that, I would like to say just 42 grams of chick on day one is able to reach 2,250 grams or 2.25 kgs of body weight in just 40 days. So, such is the genetic potential of the broiler, very similar to hen. The analogy in the agriculture sector, you can see, earlier it was uh, only 500 kgs of plant food that is produced per acre, but today it has now developed to 3 tons per acre. Whereas, in broiler, I told you, when I was the student in 1980s, my professor used to tell me that broiler 
grows to 2 kg body weight on 60th day whereas as professor i am teaching my student that broiler has developed in such a way that it is able to reach 2 kg body weight by 30th day such is the vast development in genetics coupled with very good nutrition so the myth one is broiler is given hormones as injection that is a myth number one which means that broilers are reaching that magic body weight of 2 kgs only with the help of hormone that is not so everyone here sitting here everyone know that hormone is very costly one thing and it cannot be injected for a bird which just grows to 2 kg on 30 days and giving in a hormone which is costing more than uh, uh, the value of the broiler that can be given to grow that to 2 kg. The broiler, when hormone is not given, that is the thing. The other thing that I would like to tell is, it is purely on selective crossbreeding. No genetic manipulation. Every one day, or a better male, better female, 1900 lindhi select panni, line out develop panni Still that breeding program is going on Every 365 eggs one year la hen 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 no genetic manipulation. That is the point I would like to stress. And the key driver in poultry nutrition for broiler is it is fed purely with one carbohydrate source that is maize and protein source that is soybean meal. They are fed only with maize and soybean meal. Maybe some other cereals or some other oil cakes might be used in a small proportion to grow that bird. But the main is throughout the world, it has been fed, it is being fed only with maize and soybean. Only with that, maximum economics will be obtained. And we have uh, only three different types of uh, a feeding st uh, strategy that is starter feed, pre starter feed, starter feed, and finisher. Only three different types of feed. And could have seen the different types of uh, material we are using uh, for the broiler as well as uh, layer feed they are made mainly of the cereals which are supply carbohydrates energy mostly maize and followed by the protein sources all the waste that cannot be consumed by the human beings that goes to animal feeding especially for this broiler and as a fat source for energy they are fed with some little quantity of oil from different sources. So typical uh, a poultry feed will also contain for its maximum growth these vitamins which are all required by the human beings also. And then importantly the very important trace minerals. They all required very meticulously tailor made feeding program is done for the maximum production. And this is the myth, uh, first one. The second one is uh, early puberty. Already madams have uh, uh, spoken in support of uh, uh, the consumption of broiler is not making any puberty earlier. It is a myth because if you see uh, the puberty that is being now experienced in earlier, earlier uh, years by the women is also seen in areas where it is only vegetarian consumption like Rajasthan, Maharashtra or even some parts of uh, Madhya Pradesh where most of the people are vegetarian there also equally the puberty is reached earlier it is because of so many reasons not due to poultry alone or protein alone it is a, it is a healthy nutrition platform upon which the puberty is reached earlier so it's a general nutrition platform and the other myths are 
like a poultry when consumed it leads to blood cholesterol diabetes carbo cardiovascular diseases and liver problems and cancer they are all not true actually actually the blood cholesterol diabetes cardiovascular disease everything comes from the sedentary life or junk food or food that is rich in fat imbalanced between carbohydrate and protein excess carbohydrates or soluble carbohydrate uh, intake so all these leads to obesity and high carbohydrate diet and it is also due to hereditary so the myth is in fact poultry provides the best food for reaching the best uh, nutritional platform for growth then another myth that is generally felt is chicken generates heat in the body it is not so because chicken contains very less carbohydrate for every 100 g of chicken the carbohydrate that is obtained from that is only 100 kilocalories so it there is no uh, any reason behind the myth that chicken generates heat in the body and uh, research analysis on poultry is the best one is the digestibility high pdcas that is protein digestibility corrected amino acid score there are only four products which has a maximum of the score of one one is poultry both eggs as well as chicken in vegetarian side maybe in the uh, dairy side as well as whey milk they have the perfect score of one but coming to poultry both eggs as well as chicken they have the maximum pdca score then poultry meat lowers the risk of coronary artery disease and it is good overall nutritional profile and it uh, contains quality protein vitamins minerals required for best growth and the important uh, minerals iodine zinc and the vitamin b12 is very rich in poultry poultry disease and diet also decreases the risk of type 2 diabetes through its contribution to less carbohydrate and overall improving the performance in hematological parameters because it has very good source of iron iron is very important for hemoglobin production so it's a very good source of iron and improves the performance in hematological parameters and these are the uh, nutrient value of uh, broiler chicken meat a lot has been said and more important thing only one one thing i would like to stress is it has got very least carbohydrate in that so it's very safe for even diabetic people and this slide particularly gives us a good idea about all the amino acids that are present in chicken the nine amino acids which are essential for human growth including the leucine which is the sporting amino acid for the best growth and the comparison between different types of meat is given here you can see you can appreciate the protein is very high in chicken meat when compared to mutton pork and beef and uh, the color is also very low it is 150 in broiler chicken meat in fact it is 120 110 to 120 only and the best thing when you compare different meats is the fat percentage it is a lean meat of all the meat poultry meat is the lean of all the poultry meat poultry meat means everything emus meat ostrich quail broiler you can see the fat percentage is the least in chicken so all these uh, thing are affordable cost so how did the broiler industry achieve all this through science technology and scaling up scaling up is nothing but every two years the weight gain that is by the broiler is achieved one day earlier right from the days it has been commercialized late 50s so scaling is one thing that it has been showing the continual improvement in its performance so wonder food availability plentiful 
affordability the least safest choice because it is free from everything that is uh, uh, like antibiotics or uh, pesticides because it is safely fed with only maize and soybean meal and selective ingredients the research findings from our own college you can see the meat quality based on all these parameters comparison between different types the commercial broiler chicken is having the highest biological value when compared to other different types of poultry available in the market and apart from that one of the uh, recent interviews done on broiler chicken and many people have told like 47 percent people say it has been preferred because of the taste so that is one material which can be appealingly preferred not mutton not shawa not pork not beef or not any plant materials but the chicken has a very appealing with the preparation not less than 100 different types and the one more myth that i come across use of antibiotics in growing the chicken whether they are used yes of course they are used not for growing but only for treatment purpose and that too the type of antibiotics are selected in such a way that these antibiotics are not at all used in human beings so they are not competing with the human beings and there is no reason for any antimicrobial resistance problem in the chicken they are specifically used for two different conditions one is colibacillosis other one is the necrotic enteritis which we are facing in broiler for which selective antibiotics are only used only for treatment purposes not on growth purpose and the antibiotics are only given orally not by injections and the proper withdrawal period or the procedure is used because broiler is produced in tamil nadu only by 70 people not like uh, uh, in other activities where you see lakhs of people are involved in business but whereas here they are produced only by 70 people and these 70 people are supplying the quantity of broiler needed for the entire south india or tamil nadu rather so it, there is a regulatory committee which controls everything because we are moving into an area of food safety and shortly we will be exporting the broiler chicken to the other countries because india is now looked upon for maximum commercial trading so chicken is a very healthy source of high quality lean protein and good fats and have with the right cooking method so that is the thing and negative perception and per capita consumption or have been well explained to you and this is the poultry industry with the maximum care on the health care which will take care of uh, the need of uh, protein quality as well as uh, other care for the proper supply of nutrients to the human nutrition